All right, guys, here we have our third and final clutch of the season. Uh, some really cool, interesting outcomes from it. Let's check it out. Happy Pervy to Tuesday. It's Cody with Pervy to Pythons. Like I said, we're here with our last clutch of the year. Sad face, but we might have a clutch in the making over here. Um, Trojan hopefully is getting to work with a big clown female. Um, but if you want to go ahead and bring it on in, we'll check these guys out. There's a little overview of them. Like I said, a lot of variety in this clutch. So super, super excited. We hit two clowns out of a head-to-head -head pairing. So great odds for us. And the other stuff that is a uh, hat clown looks pretty cool too. So let's get right into it. Put these right over here. So right here, I think we have a leopard and possibly another little kicker jean. Some really cool um, shading right here. Some oranges in the sides. I love when that orange shines through. Nice little checkered belly. So um, a quick note about the parent, it's the dad is Trojan. He is our Trojan Red Stripe Cypress Leopard Trick Het Clown male. And the mom was Blanca. She's a pastel lesser leopard chocolate spot nose Het Clown. And so chocolate spot nose snakes are allelic. And so that mean that meaning that it will it will pass on to every baby at least chocolate or at least spot nose. So really cool mom to have in the collection. She'll never produce a normal snake. You'll get at least, like I said, chocolate or spot nose. So thinking we have a spot nose leopard, possibly another kicker gene, het clown here. Um, really, really pretty little snake. And this is a nice little female. So hopefully that proves het clown. That'll make it just that much sweeter. But some really cool flaming on the sides there. And uh, yeah, really nice little snake. Up next, um, we have this, another little female here. And first things first, if you'll notice, we have our first birth defect right there. If you can see, that's something called shark mouth in the industry. And it's kind of when the lower jaw doesn't develop correctly. So it kind of gives it that more rounded snoot. Um, but no worries. I have some good news about this situation. So one bad thing about this is a lot of times it can affect the way they eat. Well, great news. She actually just had her first little ASF um, pup. Not a pup, I guess. Just a tiny little ASF. She ate that fine about an hour ago. So I don't want to mess with her too, too much. But um, that's really good news. You know, that was the best news is that she can eat. And now the next great news would be if she is head clown. So if she is, she'd probably stay here because she looks really, really cool. So let's take a little look. Really nice, um, cool stuff on the size. I'm thinking we have a trick... Um, trick pastel, possibly cypress, maybe just from the high white sides. I'm um, not really sure there. Or it could just be the spot nose. It could be a spot nose trick pastel, maybe cypress going on. I don't know if I mentioned it already or not, but all these except for one came out of shed just today. So we have all those collected. So we'll be sending those off. We have a huge shed order list um, in the making. But really, really cool. I like how clean the dorsal is on top. It almost has like uh, two sides to it and then the nice white center. And then when you turn it to the side, just a really, really busy, like rocky looking, rocky outcrop looking pattern and a really, really pretty snake. Um, by the way, I'm gonna mention, I'm not the best at genetics. I'm trying to get there, especially with what we actually work with. There's so many genetics out there when you stack them on top of each other, you know, it's just, it's a free for all of what can really be in there or not. Um, so if you see anything along the way during this video and you want to drop a comment or point me in the direction of somebody who works with this who can help me out with IDing these babies, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm just trying to learn, learn, and learn some more. So really, really cool snake. Hoping that turns um, turns out to be Heck Clown. Really cool female and super ecstatic that she's eating. <clears throat> well, this guy looks like he wants to go next. So this is a male and it's one of our visual clowns we produce with that nice orange head. And uh, super, super deep darks. I believe this is a Batman with possibly um, maybe Red Striper Trojan. Um, getting a, getting some really, really nice bright oranges in some of these teardrops and some of these floating little spots here. Um, really, really gorgeous snake. When I saw this pipped, if you work with clowns, you can kind of know immediately, oh, we hit a clown. So in the head to head to see the clown, I was already uh, really excited. And then to hit the Batman, which... I don't know. I feel like for a lot of people is a combo that they want to hit getting into the hobby. It definitely was for us. And so to be able to do it in our third clutch uh, is really exciting. And like I said, really pretty. I mean, look at that orange um, in the teardrops. Just a really, really gorgeous snake. And like I said, he could have Trojan as well. Um, but really, really cool head stamp as well. Just look at that. 
Love the uh, love the head of the clowns and uh, really nice busy belly, kind of dark going up the center. But really excited to hit that male. He ends up shedding out and I'm seeing some other cool stuff. Uh, he'll probably be available once he has a few meals, but really, really pretty snake. And the other clown we hit, I believe, is another Batman. And uh, I think we have just a pastel Batman, maybe pastel lesser Batman. Um, I'm going to post a picture in the video of an Orange Dream Firefly Batman, and it looks literally identical to this. So it might just be a pastel Batman, but what I love about this snake is the nice purples going down the back. And it has a kind of a clean, um, it has like a stencil, like a pencil drawing dorsal, then it kind of evens out and then it gets jagged throughout the middle. So I think that's really cool. We got this girl trying to get more screen time. <clears throat> um, but I, I, what I really, really love about this snake is all the speckling on the sides. And this is a female, so we will be holding her back to add to the collection to grow her up. I'm really excited about that. And I, like I said, I just love the speckling going all up and down it. Uh, really unique. And I think I think it gives her a lot of character. And I just love it. I think it's a really, really pretty little snake. And uh, super excited that we hit two Batmans in this clutch. And for the last snake is a male and hopefully heck clown but i don't really know what's going on here guys you're gonna have to help me out with this look at the oranges on this snake really really cool nice little pattern jagged so i think it i think it's um i think it's got the hurricane or the trick i think it's got trick in it um i'm thinking maybe cypress too because if you look at the sides look how crazy that is completely blank sides um starting like above the tail and it just goes about halfway up the snake and it's just completely white. It actually kind of has like a little peach hue to it as well, but nice clean belly. And I don't really know what's going on there. And then when it gets to the top, it has a, some really nice cool pattern. And then obviously the orange is all in that. And then inside the little like eights and stuff and the little stretches on the side is more orange. So really, really cool snake. Um, really pretty head on this snake as well. And this one is the one that hasn't shed out. So it actually gets more vibrant. When it first came out, it was really, really nice. Um, and then when it, it's, like I said, it's in shed. It'll, it'll probably shed out in about 20 minutes after we're done filming. Um, but really, really pretty snake. And I don't know exactly what's going on here. So maybe the pat, maybe it's a pastel as well. It's kind of got a washed out head um, going on about it too. Maybe like a pastel cypress trick, maybe chocolate. Um, I'm not sure if it has the spot nose in it or not. If it doesn't, it does have the chocolate, um, like I was saying earlier. So really, really pretty snake. Um, and I don't really know what's going on, which makes it kind of fun too. Um, hopefully we can get to the bottom of it and hopefully it comes back heck clown as well. And if it does, and we, um, nail down some other genetics, we will decide its future then, but really, really interesting snake. I just don't know if I've ever seen like the half, half washed out and then half really crazy looking snake. Um, but I think it has a lot of character just because of that, how it's just so clean on the side and then gets real funky at the top and then throw some orange on there too. And that's what you got with this guy. Um, so really, really cool snake. Don't know exactly what's going on um, in that one, but that is the fun of it. Let me get back in here. All these guys are posted up. Um, but yeah, guys, if you wanna just stare at these and uh, kind of wrap the video up, like I said, hit two Batmans um, out of this clutch. So really excited about that a combo that a lot of people want to hit. We wanted to hit. So we finally did it in our third um, clutch. The hits that we did get are pretty freaking cool too. A um, couple females there or uh, pos hits, my bad, um, that we did get are really cool looking as well. So a lot to figure out, a lot to work with here. Um, super excited about that. Like I said, if you could point me in the direction of people that work with um, these genes to where they can kind of be like, yep, I see that. Or no, I don't see that, um, you know, vice versa. Because a lot of these genes are kind of subtle, like the Trojan gene can be subtle. Um, just a couple can play um, in different ways with these snakes. And uh, Red Stripe is another one that can kind of, you know, give people some, you know, there's a lot of possible Red Stripes out there. But loving all these guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look at all that color and pattern right there. That's so cool. Um, but Banjo's barking from the other room, so he's telling us to wrap it up. Hey guys, couldn't be more excited about our third clutch. Um, just some really cool outcomes from it. So if you, like I said, if you guys can leave comments down below of what you think's going on and uh, go ahead and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel if you aren't subscribed. And if you aren't following us on Instagram, go over there. We're gonna be posting pictures of these guys. 
um, and some good lighting. Probably gonna throw them in the light box and ah. get some really cool pictures of them. Uh, so we're excited about that. And uh, yeah, go check us out on Instagram as well. But um, I think we are at like 830, 840 subscribers. We're trying to hit a thousand by the, by the end of the year and we can't do it without you guys. So please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And uh, if you want, you can share it with a friend and say, hey, this guy's got some pretty cool snakes if you want to go check them out. Um, we really appreciate it and we appreciate you guys who uh, have been following along this whole time here and on Instagram. Love growing this little snake community that we are uh, putting together. So really appreciate you guys. Hope you have a great week and uh, come back next week for another cool video. Until then, peace.